Good morning. This is Wednesday, August 9th. And again, I want to remind you of the baptism at Dunn's Camps. There will be no church here at the building, but it will be at Dunn's Camps at 10 o'clock. Nice baptism service. Hope you join us. Today's devotion is prayer in the Father's hearing. This is John 11. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. When the Son of God prays, he is mindful and consciously aware of only his Father. God always hears the prayers of his Son. And if the Son of God has been formed within me, Galatians 4, the Father will always hear my prayers. But I must see to it that the Son of God is exhibited in my human flesh. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We talked about that yesterday, 1 Corinthians. That is, your body is the Bethlehem of God's Son. Is the Son of God being given his opportunity to work in me? Is the direct simplicity of his life being worked out in me exactly as it was worked out in his life while he was here on earth? When I come into contact with the everyday occurrences of life, as an ordinary human being, is the prayer of God's eternal Son to his Father being prayed within me? Jesus says, In that day you will ask in my name, that's John 16. What day does he mean? Well, he's referring to the day when the Holy Spirit has come to me and has made me one with the Lord. Is the Lord Jesus Christ abundantly satisfied by our lives? Or are we exhibiting a walk of spiritual pride, thinking we can figure this out on our own? Never let your common sense become so prominent and forceful in your life that it pushes the Son of God to one side. Common sense is a gift that God has given to our human nature, but common sense is not the gift of His Son. Supernatural spiritual sense is the gift of His Son. We should never put our common sense on the throne. The Son always recognizes and identifies with the Father, but our common sense has never yet done so and never will. Self wants to rule. Common sense is just self. That's all he's saying. Our ordinary abilities will never worship God unless they are sanctified by the indwelling Son of God and the Holy Spirit. We must make sure that our human flesh is kept in perfect submission to Him, allowing Him to work through it moment by moment. Are we living at such a human level of dependence upon Christ that His life is being exhibited in us moment by moment? The challenge I have is, what place in our lives does common sense hold? If it's in the way of spiritual growth, will we allow God to move it aside? Common sense is a wonderful gift, but again, it's just self, and self can get in the way of what God would have for us. What place does common sense hold in our lives? Let's pray. Father, we give you our common sense today. We thank you for it, but Lord, we want you to take it and sanctify it, and use it the way you will in our lives. Not the way we want to, but the way you want to. Thank you for all the things you give us with our intelligence. But Father, we want to give it all back to you today. Sanctify it wholly and then put it back within us as you would see fit. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.